Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first in a little series I think it's going to end up being. Uh, this is the Atomar Sea Dolphin. Now I looked at its bigger brother, the killer whale. Uh, they seem to be just calling them after marine mammals but um, uh, despite the kind, kind of cute name this is a serious looking aircraft. Now it's one that kind of skipped me by um, but I was quite impressed with the killer whale. That is actually quite a nice model, very floaty and a number of you got in touch and said if you like that try the dolphin so a massive thank you to all of you who got in touch and made that suggestion because I think it was a good one now I've only had this in a couple of days just starting to get to grips with it, thinking about what I'm gonna do but um, I have been looking for a cheaper wing to use for a couple of projects I'll probably end up putting iNav in it and we might end up doing as part of the series uh, an iNav 3.0 installation who knows? Because um, iNav 3.0 is very close to coming out. The release candidate is available. I've got a little Matek F411 WSE that will fit in here that will do the job. The other reason that I've got this is I am hoping to get my hands on some new FPV combat stuff. So like laser tag, but for FPV combat with like a little infrared LED at the front and uh, sensor on the back and um, on-screen display pieces show things like ammo count, lives, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got the FPV version in here that's come with a camera, video transmitter, so we can look at all the pieces. Different versions available, also available in black. Um, I quite like the white actually. This, it looks really goofy in the pictures, I must admit. Um, when I first ordered it, you know, because so many had suggested it. I thought, yeah, am I really excited about it? Um, but now it's here, looking at this thing, I'm thinking, actually, this looks really good. It reminds me, this will show my age a little bit, of a movie that came out, I think it was in the 80s, with Clint Eastwood in it, uh, called Firefox. And it was about him stealing uh, a supersonic Russian MiG. Uh, if you've never watched Firefox, uh, unfortunately, the effects haven't really stood the test of time but I loved it. We had it on a VHS cassette when I was a kid and I used to just sit and watch that all the time. This kind of feels and looks a little bit Firefoxy. It has the little canards at the front. Unfortunately they're not articulated. Standard two control surfaces but it has absolutely ridiculous amounts of room. Anyway, enough of me banging on. Let me show you how it comes in the box and go through the specs. So this Atomarsi Dolphin has a wingspan of 845 millimeters. That's just over 33 inches. Length of 710 millimeters, much longer than I expected, about 28 millimeters. The wing area is 15 dm squared. Weight without anything in it is about 360 grams. Now it is available in white and black. There is a kit version, a PNP version and also an FPV PNP version that I've got here. Now the motor parts that are actually included in the kit are a 2306 2000 kV motor. It is running with a 30 amp 5 volt 3 amp BEC ESC. Uh, the ESC is something that you'd expect to see more on a multi-rotor than a fixed wing one. Uh, there aren't any caps or any of that stuff around, so interested to see how that performs. The servos that come in the kit are two-piece 9-gram servos. Uh, they are unfortunately analog and they are also plastic gear, but I'll give them a shot first. Normally with something like this I'd stick in metal gear digital servos, but we'll try it with the standard stuff. Propeller is listed to 5 to 6 inch. The propeller that comes with it, um, you'll see it in a minute, I've got a lovely pink one, uh, is uh, I think it's a 54 by 52, something like that. So it's a 5 by 5 inch prop. Recommended battery for this is going to be 4S, 1300 to 2200 milliamp hours. I'm going to see what I need to get the central gravity right. Again, there's going to be a flight controller, uh, VTX and other things at the back. There's going to be um, the camera up in the nose maybe I will fit something else to it as well um, I'm going to try and keep it as flexible as possible uh, particularly with moving the battery backwards and forwards so that I can add and play with extra technologies later on 
Once the pieces are out of the box, let me show you how it all comes. Uh, there is absolutely tons and tons of room inside here. Much more than I was expecting. And most of the electronic components I've just talked about are actually hidden away inside these two hatches. The two hatches are huge. Uh, the back one has mountings. See, here's the, the way it comes. There's a little bag here. That's the motor and the two servos along with I think the servo connectors this is the ESC the little bag of um, mounting bits so that's the little ESC and how it comes uh, unsoldered for the XT60 so I'm gonna have to pop that on we have the linkages for the wings as well um, look like ball linkages which are good and then in the nose area where you can put the battery if you haven't got lots of weight battery strap little piece of foam that's going to go in that little notch at the front if you decide to put your action camera at the top that is the prop a nice little pink number again may change that out then we have a bag of bits for the fpv stuff and some covers and this little bag here uh, is actually the vtx and the camera couple of noses that can fit in here so there is the mount here for something like a gopro the front is then held on with magnets I probably am not going to use it with that. See, that's where that little piece sits. And then we have the nose piece, which is probably how I'm going to use it, which will stick in there. Again, held in place of magnets. I might put a little bead of glue. Take the wings out and have a quick look at those. So those are the vertical stabilizers. Well, they're more like a V-tail. Just need to cut them off the little kind of sprue thing in the middle. And these are the wings. So we have carbon fire fiber reinforcement along the aileron we have nice cutouts for the servo and also access to get into the uh, the servo horn uh, protection on the front leading edge balsa strengthening on the route uh, carbon fiber will go across and keep it all together it looks pretty good so there we have it first look at the atom rc dolphin now i only have one reservation about this and that is the ESC motor and prop combo that's been supplied that we've just looked at may not be optimal. Now, I've done some of the calculations in eCalc. Uh, again, check out the eCalc video uh, that I did with Marcus. I will be doing more of those in the coming weeks. And I think the standard setup is not going to give me the kind of great performance that I was hoping for that I've seen other people get. So if you have a dolphin or you know someone that has, and uh, they've posted their setups in terms of the prop motor and ESC, then I would love to hear from you. Pop it down in the comments down below. I'm looking for a model that's comfortably gonna be doing 80, 100 miles an hour. Uh, I could nick kind of things like the mini drag setup, uh, but I'm just interested to see what other people are running it on. And I think this is a pretty versatile airframe, particularly with the amount of room inside and the ability, if you put an action camera in the nose, to even mount the battery further back uh, to get the center of gravity right some really cute ideas so stay tuned and uh, I will put a link down to the playlist below when it's created and probably the next video is I'll show you how I'm going to put this all together uh, and go through some regular good old building tips and then we'll hopefully put iNav in it and take it out for a fly Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.